APO 1634, San Francisco, California. Dear Lou, your letter hit me in Australia just before we hopped a northbound choo-choo for New Guinea. I would have answered, but most of my free time's used up right in Phyllis. Believe me, boy, I miss her like hell. I miss a whole damn town, you included. But recently, we finished up our job at Buna, so we're getting a couple of days breather. Incidentally, excuse the spots, it's raining, and the drops is leaking down my arm. The whole New Guinea thing has been something, Lou. Call it a experience. That's a tolerable word, I guess. Right from the start, when we come off the boat at Port Moresby, I knowed something was up. No waiting around, stalling like usually. Right off, we hit the timber. And from one hour after we left till right now, right in you, it's been jungle. Jungle, just like in books. And when we come up near Jap territory, you couldn't help getting itchy about that thick green wall. Every second you wonder, maybe a Jap's hanging in that tree, hiding in those bushes, ready to pop you off. No roads, nothing like Elm Street or Vine Drive. Out here, we had to make them ourselves some sort of road to support the heavier stuff when it moved up. They're funny looking things made with logs, like tracks. Most of the time they work okay. But the roads and then trails through the jungles was no good for supplies. Most of what we needed had to come by air. Whenever we hit a clearing, maybe a little jungle village, up they come from Malsby. Big transports in a kind of delivery service, like Frescani's grocery wagon to home, only bigger. In they'd zoom, a couple hundred feet up, scaring the pants off the bush boys, and scattering food and ammunition, medical stuff around like an elk's picnic out of the dells. Japs had been through a few weeks before, going backwards. So them guys done all they could for us before we pushed on, chasing the Japs. We kept knocking the Japs back and back until we got them bunched up on the beach at Buna, in Buna Mission. It was a little different out there on the sand. Chaps was hidden in the jungle, close by. But Yank Scouts pushed up and up that beach, the rest of us hanging back with 37s and 30s, pumping lead into the jungle, cover for them guys up ahead. We were scared, Lou. Scared like hell. Couldn't help it. But still, our guys kept it going, inching up that beach, scared or no scared. Right up to the end, the Japs fought, fierce and tough, believe me. But I don't know, with, with them it's like animals, like the header, different from us. Dead ones didn't seem sorry they was dead much, and live ones seemed dumb, plain <laughs> dumb. That outfit of theirs don't want them to live for anything particular, just wants them to starve and die for it not asking any questions about what they're dying for. When they did live, they didn't seem too happy about it. Seeing them poor, thin Japs give me a pretty fair idea why we're fighting against what they stand for, the difference between the Jap ball club and the American. I'm running out of paper, so just one more thing. The Aussies, like you asked about. Well, I reckon there's more like Americans than some of us, Lou. Good swearing, good living, good guys with a fight in them like tigers and a hell of a sense of humor. They got the same feeling about chaps we got, only more. Big difference between them and us is their hats and the fact they've been out here longer than we have. For a long time, you know, it was their own show. And they'd hit plenty of trouble, plenty of casualties. Even then, natives was helping them, carrying a stream of wounded back from the front, which they done regular. The whole thing's been no dancing party. No point trying to fool about that. New Guinea ain't no garden spot, and them Japs shoot pretty straight. But hell, rain or no rain, Japs or no Japs, us guys out here figure we got a war to win. So when you tell about me back home, tell everybody, us out here is in good hands, fighting good, side by side with good guys right up to the top, General MacArthur and General Blamey. And all of us are gonna get this over quick as we can.